Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about NORA or otherwise called as NPC MOS logic. So here no race condition, NORA is nothing but no race condition or otherwise it is called as NPC MOS. In our previous video, we saw a problem of cascading dynamic logic. What is it? There was a one between the output of first stage and that is fed as the input to the second stage. As one is fed, there was a path for discharging. So the output is discharged to ground instead of the output high value, right? So to overcome or to make that particular one to zero, we used a static inverter. And another way or another approach of cascading your dynamic logic is through NPCMOS logic. So what is the alternate way? This is no race condition or NP logic. What is this no race? The output that has to be staying at the high charge or the pre-charged value is becoming discharged. So there is a race between the charging and discharging. So we designed an alternate approach that is no race condition by cascading domino logic or by cascading your dynamic logic by using NPC MOS style. So, so what is this dynamic logic that we saw in previous thing? In previous video, we saw there was a presence of static inverter for cascading the dynamic logic. We saw a static inverter between both your dynamic logic style. So here, we are going to avoid that extra static. We are going to avoid the extra static inverter between your dynamic logic. What is it? So why we are avoiding this extra inverter? Because the extra inverter requires two more transistor. If two more MOSFET is again added for cascading, just for the purpose of cascading, we are increasing two different transistors. It is increasing your area and the power, everything will be increased. So we are avoiding that extra particular static inverter by using a direct connection of one to your pull down network. We are connecting the one to a pull up network. Previously, a pull down network was there and your logic function will be implemented only by using the pull down network. So the one which is coming at the output of the first stage, when it is fed directly to the second stage at the input, what is happening? My pull down network will be turned down and output will be discharged. Now, to stop the path of discharging, we made an inverter in the midpoint of cascade. Right? There was an inverter in the mid of both the domino logic. So now that is increasing the area. So to avoid that area increasing, we are going to directly feed one to the next stage. But here the logic is implemented by using a pull up network. Because when one is given to the pull up network, the device will be turned off. So now again, there is no path for discharging. We want an output such a way the output must not be discharged. When my pull up network is there, even if one is coming, my pull up network will turn off. Because one, when it is given to a P MOSFET, my circuit will turn off. So in the place of pull down network, that was previously in there in domino logic, I am not using an inverter. Instead, I'm going to use a pull up network. You can see in the circuit, see the first one, the first circuit or the first stage is nothing but a dynamic logic. P1 and P2 are the clocked MOSFETs and logic is implemented in the pull down network and the output which is OP1. That will be having certain value. Consider that the OP1 is 1. 
previously the one that was there in the output of the first stage is directly given to a pull down network and that has made my output to discharge it. So to avoid that, we connected an inverter. So the one is converted into zero, zero will turn off your pull down device. But instead of inverter, I'm just having a direct connection, but what I'm using in the place of pull down network, I'm having pull up network. So this circuit is called as NPC MOS because our logic is having two flavors because one logic is implemented by using a pull down network and the same logic is implemented in the second tree by using a pull up network. If your transistors are connected in series, in the second network, the transistors will be connected in parallel. So now, in between, I'm having certain inverters. What is it? The output one, if I want to connect it to another entry, which means to another pull down device, I need to have an inverter. In the same way, if I need to connect to another pull up device, I need to connect an inverter. If a pull down network and a pull up network is there, we don't want to provide an inverter and that particular logic is called as NPC MOS logic. Now see the working of this NPC MOS. First, I'm giving my clock is equal to zero. When my clock is equal to zero, my T1 is on, my T2 is off. Because it is PMOS, PMOS giving zero to a PMOS will turn off your, giving zero to a PMOS will turn on your device and zero to a NMOS will turn off the device. Right? Now, what is output one? OP1 is the out one that has been pre-charged to VDD. And what is the clock bar signal? Here you see, I'm controlling my T3 and T4 using clock bar, not with clock, right? Clock bar is one automatically because I'm giving clock zero, clock bar is one. When I'm giving clock bar is equal to one, what will happen? One minute is given to T3, will turn on T3. One minute is given to T4, will turn on your one minute is given to T3, will turn off your T3, and one minute is given to T4, will turn on the T4. And what is this output to? T3 is off. T3 is off. So your output to will be pre-discharged to zero. Right? My output to is pre-discharged to zero. Next, my clock is equal to one. When my clock is equal to one, my T1 is off, my T2 is on. What is output one? Output one is equal to zero. Now, what is clock bar? My clock bar is equal to again zero. When my clock bar is equal to zero, T3 is on, T4 is off. T4 is off. So some transistor in your pull up network will be turned on because zero is given to the pull up network. When zero is given, my transistor will turn on. So some transistor in your pull up network will turn on. So ensuring no discharge in your output or otherwise your output two will still maintain at the logic one. So clock is given to zero. Check for T1, T2 condition. Output is pre-charged. Now clock bar and signal is given to T3 and T4. T3 is made into off and T4 is made into on. Your output is pre-discharged. And now clock is equal to one. When I do clock is equal to one, clock bar will become equal to zero. So now T1 is off, T2 is on, output one is zero. This zero is going to turn some transistor. It may pull up the network on. When I give some transistor in the pull-up network to be on, what will happen? T3 is on, so your output will still maintain at the logic of one, ensuring no discharge. How does this has happened? Just because I didn't provide a discharge path, your output to discharge to ground, because I have connected a pull-up network, connecting a one directly to your pull-up network will turn off your pull-up network. So this logic is called as NPC MOS logic.
so in next video we will learn about the realization of mux